Hi guys, Light here. In today's video, we're gonna check out iOS 14.4 on the iPhone 11. So there are only a few changes here on iOS 14.4 and here are some of the stuff that you need to know. So the first change is that if you are using AirPods or even the AirPods Pro or even just the classic wired earpods that come with your iPhone or even if you do have the new AirPods Max or anything that is part of the Apple ecosystem, chances are you might be familiar with the headphone audio levels section here on the health app which basically tells you the range of decibels that you are listening to whether if you are listening to music that is within the safe zone or if you are listening to music that is too loud which is similar to the feature that we have here available on the Apple Watch which is noise detection which warns you if you are in an environment that is too loud that may end up damaging your hearing but going back to the headphone audio levels here on iOS Apple wants to expand this feature to other headphones as well, well, other audio devices. So if we go inside settings, and if we go inside Bluetooth, and if you do have audio devices paired with your device, you should be now able to set the device type for that. So for instance, here on my JBL clip, we have here set as a speaker, which you could always change if that is inaccurate. So we have here car stereo, headphone, hearing aid, speaker, or other. So let's check out the others that we have here paired. So we have here my defunct Bluetooth Plus, which should be a headphone right here. And as you can see, it is correct. So there is no need for me to reassign the device type. And right over here, we should have a car stereo which is correct and this one should be a speaker and right now as you can see it's assigned as a headphone so let's go ahead and correct that to a speaker which the adjustments that we do make would be helpful for the health app right here so it could calibrate whether it's a headphone a speaker or something else so it could go ahead and determine if we are listening to music within the safe range or if we are listening to music that is too loud that might end up damaging our hearing so we could get alerts for that which you could always configure inside settings if you scroll down to sounds and haptics and right here we have headphone safety and we have here the notifications and of course you could also adjust the headphones maximum volume which your iPhone can analyze the headphone audio and reduce any sound that is over that set decibel level which would be kind of useful for all audio devices like this one from Belkin, the true wireless earpods which will also have here the new Apple Find My integration and speaking of Apple Find My if we go ahead and open Safari and we go to this link which is Find My Items as you can see right here which if we go ahead and open that link it would prompt you to open the find my application where you get here a preview of the upcoming find my items feature on the app which if we tap here add item as you can see right here we get here this small pop up here on the bottom which we have there the icon of a bag a luggage and a headphone which is kind of nice since we do get a preview of the upcoming features we have for ios and if you are running iOS 14.3 or above, you could go ahead and scan this QR code for you to try it out. Also, if you do have a HomePod with the U1 chip or later, you should be able to get new handoff improvements for the HomePod once the HomePod update has been released. Also, if you do have an Apple Watch paired with your iPhone and it is compatible with watchOS 7.3, we do get a new watch face which is unity as you can see right here which you can set the color and other stuff so if you go ahead and add that to your apple watch it should look like this also in line with watch os 7.3 if you do live in japan mayotte philippines or even thailand we now finally get the ecg app available on apple watch series 4 or later or if you do have a watch that has a built-in ecg scanner so we could finally now get an ECG directly on our wrist. And for Apple Watch SE users, don't worry, our Apple Watch is still pretty awesome. And in iOS 14.4 comes improvements when scanning QR codes. 
So when you're scanning a small QR code, your device should be able to easily handle that. And if you do remember the new app privacy labels that we have available on the App Store, and if you do encounter an app that has data used to track you, well, according to the Apple developer documentation on user privacy and data use, if we do have data to track you, we should give you a prompt similar to this one, which allows the user to select if they want to allow tracking or they could ask the app not to track which this is an awesome privacy feature to have in our iOS device. Lastly, running a performance test on the iPhone 11 running iOS 14.4, we do get a score of 1340 for single core and 3418 for multi-core. Where comparing that from iOS 14.3, we do get a score of 1337 for single core and 3223 for multi-core. And if we compare our results on the single core performance, our result on iOS 14.4 is slightly higher than the average iPhone 11. And on multi-core performance, it is still higher than the average iPhone 11. Now running another performance test using Antutu Benchmark, we do get a score of 475,681 for iOS 14.4. Where comparing that from the previous update, we got the score of 519,119 on iOS 14.3. So that is it guys, those are just some of the little changes available on iOS 14.4. How about you guys, have you spotted any other changes? Please let us know in the comment box below. And as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.